snowfall on the western slopes has reached its usual peak, several weeks earlier than usual, and more snow is expected, hopefully offering some relief to reseeding Colorado reservoirs, experts say. The rivers of western Colorado feed the Colorado River Basin, which supplies water to 40 million people in the west. The basin is experiencing its worst drought in 1,200 years. By some estimates, it will take an average of three years for the basin's reservoirs to return to normal if there's no consumption. Snow has fallen deeply in the mountains that feed the Colorado River this year, with some areas reporting historically high snowfalls. The most impressive thing about this year's snowpack is that typically, in a normal year we reach our normal peak around April 1st. We've already reached that peak snow value in early March, and we're still trending upward, said the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center. Lake Mead water levels are 1,045.97 feet as of March 14. According to data compiled by the Department of Natural Resources, as of Monday, Colorado's statewide snowpack was 127 percent of median from 1991 to 2020. On the western slope, the numbers looked even better. Snow equivalent, the amount of liquid water in snow, was 147 percent of its historical average in the Gunnison Basin and 136 percent of its average in the Yampa and White Basins as of Monday. The San Miguel, Dolores, Onimus, and San Juan basins in southwest Colorado had 149 percent of the average snow cover, the highest in the state. However, in eastern Colorado, the Arkansas Basin snowpack is at 78 percent of its historical average, and the South Platte Basin was at 106 percent on Monday. In the Colorado River Basin, how snow cover ultimately affects spring water supply depends on factors such as residual snow and soil moisture. Unusual wet weather patterns expected for the rest of March are likely to drive the numbers even higher across the basin and state. Over the next couple of weeks, the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center is projecting about 1 to 2.5 inches of snow at higher mountain elevations. Lower elevations can expect between 0.5 and 1 inches of rain and or snow. However, the basin has seen some of the driest soil on record in recent years. When spring runoff occurs, dry soil absorbs moisture and prevents water from flowing downstream to replenish much-needed reservoirs. Even considering the drier soil, hydrologists expect well above average flows across the basin. Healthy snow cover helps, but does not restore the huge downstream reservoirs of Lake Powell and Mead. In 2021, Gunnison County's Blue Mesa Reservoir implemented emergency releases to maintain water levels in drought-depleted Lake Powell. The move caused water levels in the Blue Mesa to drop and the local summer economy to collapse. Lake Powell is expected to finish the 2023 water year, which ends September 30th, this year at an elevation of about 3,555 feet, or about 32 percent of capacity, according to a February Office of Reclamation forecast. That's about 35 feet taller than Monday. Once Lake Powell reaches an elevation of 3,490 feet, the Glen Canyon Dam will be unable to generate hydroelectric power. If the Colorado River Basin uses no water at all with normal snow cover it would take three years, before all the reservoirs would be filled with water, 